Welcome everyone to the 2021 Bowling Promotion Tour sponsored by Cupica AMF. We're here at Silver Bowl in Bocuse, France, about 200 miles northwest of Paris. I'm Bruce Hall and I'll be your commentator for the international version of these matches. Today is the first of 22 matches from various locations in France. We'll be bringing you as part of the series and you can see the entire schedule at bowlingpromotiontour.com. Today's match is the first in a stepladder mixed doubles Baker format, and we have the doubles teams of France and England competing, with the winner moving on to face the USA mixed doubles team. Let's kick things off with France's Manon Grancier as she shoots at a 10 pin in her first frame, trying to start things off with a spare and does so nicely, covering the 10 pin and giving France a spare in the first frame. Now let's move over to the English team of Sarah Hood and Jack Blythe. We'll start with Sarah in her first frame. Sarah, 38 years old, throws it right over the second arrow, a little bit light, comes up and leaves the 2-8 spare combination. And she will attempt to convert the spare to match the spare of France in the first frame. Once again, we have the stepladder format. The winner of this match goes on to face Team USA. The winner of that match faces Team Sweden. And the winner of that match faces our number one seed, the PBA team of Daria Payok and Matt McNeil. And both of them have just beautiful games. We'll be looking forward to that match for sure. But right now, let's take our first look at English, England's Jack Blythe, and let's see how he does on this 41-foot lane pattern. Right over the second arrow, maybe 11 board, and gets a strike to get our first strike of the match. Nice shot there by Jack. Now let's get our first look at Quentin DeRue and watch the power of this young man. He was a force in these competitions last year, and he's a two-hander, even though he puts his thumb and fingers in the ball. He does use two hands, and look at the power he's able to generate. And here he goes. And gets it left a little bit, goes through the beak, and gets the jersey squasher, as we call it. But that's going to be the matching strike for France in the second frame. So all tied up after two frames here. And let's go back to Sarah Hood. And let's see how she can do. She came up light last time. As you see, both teams stay on the same lane for the entire game. Sarah got that one out to the right a little bit, but got it back to get the strike and the double for the English team. And now let's see if Jack can extend that double into a triple. And once again, both of these players from England playing straight up the boards. Yeah, looking right at that second arrow, right over it. Get that one right a little bit from his last shot. Comes up a little late, leaves the week 10. And Jack will move over to his plastic ball and shoot cross lane at the 10 pin. Good shot there by Jack. And we'll move back over to Quentin after we saw a spare by the French team, which we didn't show you, we'll see if Quentin can come back up and get the strike train rolling for France once again. He went high in his last shot. Let's see what he does here. He gets it out to the right a little bit, won't make the corner, and he leaves the same 2-8 spare that Sarah left in the first frame. And let's see how Quentin attacks this spare. And covers it nicely. It is going to give the English team the lead, though, by 11 pins, by virtue of the fact that they have doubled and the French team has not. And let's go back to Manol in the fifth frame. Let's see how she does in this pattern. She comes up, she gets it a little bit right. You notice that the English team was both right around the second arrow. That was more like the first arrow and did not quite make it up to the pocket. She leaves the two, four, five. 
And let's see how she does converting that spare. Goes right at it with the spare ball and unfortunately gets a bad break by chopping the 2-4-5. That's going to leave the French team open in the fifth with 84. And now down 25 pins to the English team in just the first five frames of the match. Let's see how Sarah does here. And gets that one back and blows the rack. Beautiful shot by Sarah. And she's got some nice rotation on that ball. Takes advantage of those dry boards to the right of 10. This is a 41-foot oil pattern. And it's been applied by the AMF Summit S-Series oiling machine. And here's Jack trying to double once again. Jack only 17. A beautiful shot. Give him the strike. And England has only missed the pocket once so far, and that was Sarah's 2-8 in the first frame. Other than that, they've been solid in the pocket and only missed striking just the once. And we've skipped over another open by France and another strike by France. We're coming back to the English team, and here's Sarah once again right oh. over the 10 board, maybe a little left of 10. And there you can see how Sarah is using the pattern to give herself a little bit of area. That ball was a couple of boards left of her target from her last shot and held pocket and gives her the strike for the triple for the English team. And now let's see if Jack can extend that into a four-bagger and really give the English team a commanding lead in this match. Looking very strong, a beautiful shot. He got through that beautifully and perfect strike by Jack. This English team looking very strong in the early going of this step ladder. Once again, the winner of this game goes on to face Team USA, Amy and Chris Vialli. Winner of that faces Team Sweden. And the winner of that match faces Team PBA, Daria Payok and Matt McNeil. And there's Quentin right out over the second arrow. Gets the trip four. That's a double for France. They're going to need everything going forward and some help from England to have a chance in this match. So let's see if Manal can turn this double into a triple. Absolutely essential for them to have a chance at this match. And rolls it up beautifully. Perfect pocket shot and leaves the smash. Seven. What a terrible break for Manon. She chopped that 2-4-5 earlier. That was a bad break. And now she gets the smash seven. So the uh, bowling gods not looking favorably on the French team right now. They're bowling a nice game, but unfortunately England is uh, running away with it here. Uh, they are very, very strong and not missing the pocket. Once again, we'll be bringing you 22 matches as part of the series, and you can hit that subscribe button, and you'll be notified of when new matches are publicized. The schedule is available at bowlingpromotiontour.com, and we'll be coming out with new videos about every three or four, two or three days. Good shot there by Sarah. Another strike for Team England, and they have a 269 possible if Jack can strike out here in the 10th. And once again, taking his time, nice and square in his setup. And we're going to see that tall backswing. Look at that locked elbow. Everything nice and straight. Right, perfectly splits. The 8-9, as we say, that was a about as good a strike as you'll ever see. And here goes Jack for his second one in the 10th. And another beautiful shot right over second arrow. Trips the 10 out. And that's going to put the English team in the 260s. What a statement they're making here on this very first match. And let's see if he can finish it off with 269 with the strike here. And the crowd getting behind him with the, uh, with the clapping. And pretty good shot. And another week 10. That's and will it roll? No, can't get the roll. 268. What a wonderful.
performance by this English team certainly sending notice to the rest of the stepladder that they are lined up and they're not afraid to hit the pocket and not afraid to throw big scores. So we'll watch uh, Quinton Daru wrap things up here, but it will be the English team of Sarah Hood and Jack Blythe moving on to face the American team of Amy and Chris Vialli. And Quentin looks like a beautiful shot there by Quentin. There's the line to the pocket he was looking for. And flushes that one. And Quentin now just really bowling it out. And once again, um, we are in Silver Bowl. This is the first stop of this tour. Be touring several cities in France, bringing you different competitions. And a very exciting series, the 2021 Bowling Promotion Tour. And thanks so much to Cubica AMF for sponsoring this competition. And Quentin's second shot. Oh, there's a Brooklyn for Quentin. And give him the double in the 10th. Unfortunately, too little, too late. And a uh, possible uh, 191 for the French team coming up here. And let's see if Quentin, 192, excuse me, possible. Let's see if Quentin can finish that off and uh, get the third strike here in the 10th. And once again, getting the support of the crowd. Quentin with all that power, a lot of fun to watch and we'll certainly see more of him later in this competition. Gets up, makes the shot, a little high. Oh, there's a four pin. 191, the final score for Team France. 268, the final score for Team England. Congratulations to the English team moving on to face the USA team in our next video. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Bruce Hall here. We'll see you back in a couple of days for the next match.